Okay. I meant to uh, throw together a really fast playing compilation showing the construction of the habitat module, but I'm getting on a plane in a couple of hours for my well vacation. I'll be back in a, in a week. I didn't have time to throw that together. It's filmed, but I don't think you need to see it. The habitat module is very simple. We're just going to finish up with the docking process here. I've cut it up pretty into pretty small pieces. And, well, you can see it's uh, a lot of the, uh, the launch was controlled by Mech Jeb. Mechanical Jeb to the rescue, I guess. I did the docking by hand, aside from using uh, plus and minus parallel with uh, Smart ASS. It's, I don't always use that. It, it's very handy. It uh, makes for nice, nicer looking dockings. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use it every time from now on. It just. Uh, anyway, here we are coming in. I've got this playing at 250% speed, which is just a hair over real time. If you look at the clock ticking by in the top left, you'll see it's going by just a little bit faster than a real second. Now this is the nearly the aftmost section of this ferry. I do have one more section going behind it that I, well, that I have planned, that I've been thinking about, that hasn't been built yet. It's going to be an assist system for the long duration burn, because I'm going to be burning 3000 meters per second of Delta V in one burn to get my lathe capture, or get my jewel capture, capture. I'm going to have a section stuck on the rear end of this with probably 12 of the small SRBs in, set up in onion staging. So I'll have this outermost 6 fire for, for, what is it, 45 seconds? And then I'll have the innermost 6 fire for 45 seconds once I'm made, once, excuse me, once I've made sure I'm still on the correct course. Well, this is what we look like so far. All my struts are turned on and uh, I'll see you guys in a week, probably two weeks before I get my next video out.